everybody! Uh, I'm here with my mom. Her name's Jackie, and you may remember her from a few other videos we've done recently. We did some little reviews yes. before, um, some key products that were working for her makeup-wise, mm -hmm. but the real question I feel like I tend to get for you, <laughs> people say, ask your mom, what's her skincare routine? Because that mm -hmm. seems to be maybe the most difficult thing to find the just right thing. So mom is in her 60s. She's tried a lot of different skincare items, right? And she's got kind of a couple of routines that do overlap a little bit with some of the same products for day and night, but there's several steps. The serum, the spot cream, the eye cream. Why is that important? Because I got older. <laughs> No, once I didn't need all of those things, mm -hmm. and once then you go into the into the store and you see, oh, there is an eye cream. Yes, I will get into that. That was some years ago. Uh -huh. Oh, there is a serum. Oh, try maybe that. I need that. Yeah, and that spot cream looks good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you you just start adding, and then you hope you're not overloading yourself with with things right. and. Uh, the the procedure and the product groupings that I've come up with seem to work for me. Now, that doesn't mean they'll work for everyone that way, but they yeah. seem to give me some results. I, I don't think any of it's magic, but uh, mm -hmm. if you can even hold the line a little bit. I think mom's skin would be in a place where you're not overly oily, mm -hmm. right? You're I'm in a not. place where you want to hydrate. I want to hydrate. I wouldn't say my skin even appears to seem dry, but you just know that it's lost the things that Moisture. it used to have in, in the youth and you're trying to kind of replenish them. So let's start out. Um, we wake up in the morning, you wash your face. What do you wash your face with, by the way? We didn't really bring that product. I, I had an old uncle who was a doctor <laughs> and he told me once to wash my face. Wash my face with Dove soap. Okay. Uh, I know Classic that I've, product. I've heard people say it's not good, not good, but uh, anyway, that has worked for me. He, the reason was at that time that it doesn't totally strip. Your, okay. your skin of the moisture, you know, and it leaves a little something, and it really does. Then let's talk about step one, and I'll kind of yes. show the product here to the camera, but it is Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. Yes. So tell me about this and how um, this is working. It has no irritating qualities to it at all, and I feel like it kind of uh, works on those areas that, you know, the crow's feet, the little lines here mm -hmm. and there, uh, it just seems to to do the job that it says it does. This so. does have retinol in yes, it. Yes, it does. Um, and so you feel like this is something where you've noticed a difference somewhat. Mm -hmm. You feel like yeah. uh, with continued use, it, it does. I thought it really kind of helped along here. I would say that's probably the best I've used so far. The next thing you're going to use is this Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum. So it's the same collection basically but this is a serum it has a little pump actually but this is a squeezy tube and this again has the retinol yeah. in it so I wasn't this the first thing in this rapid wrinkle repair line that you started using mm -hmm. I feel practically like my when I touch my skin it's firmer okay I don't know how to even describe that because I feel like when you get older the outside starts to lose its elasticity and you're just kind of <laughs> I mean, and, and I just yeah. feel like there's just a little, little bit more, um, more firmness there. And I've been doing this for like four months now. Mom and I, we talk daily on the phone, <laughs> and it's often that our conversations do turn to, you know, makeup and skincare stuff. And I remember you saying shortly after you tried this that you really thought it was doing something mm -hmm. and I remember that was like we said the first product from the line that you got yeah. into and then you kind of thought well we'll try the eye cream I'll try this or that so um, glad to hear that that's working out mm -hmm. um, you have another step now this is from a different line it's from Garnier it's the skin renew mm -hmm. dark spot corrector in this really bright green tube yeah. and I know Pup uses this as well she did a guest review on my blog about this saying how well she liked this. Mm -hmm. um, how do you use this? Uh, I just put it on the places that, that have come up as little dark spots. I've had um, uh, just several and I would have to say over this length of time if you use it religiously and you use say, a sunscreen and, and you use a sunscreen and your your moisturizer has a good one or mm -hmm. you know which is what I rely on I want 30 on that okay and so it's made a difference it's done yeah I feel like That's, it has I don't know I I don't think any of them that I've heard say they will totally rid you of it. Mm -hmm. But if, if they just downplay them some, and by the time you'll put on, uh, say, a foundation, you put on a little concealer, uh, you really can. I've got some here, I've got here, 
here. I, I, I don't think they stand out like you just... No, you, you know, do not look no, like a leopard that. at all. But, you, uh, <laughs> but I would look like a leopard if I didn't. <laughs> <have>. uh, <laughs> daytime, it's eye cream, serum, spot, and then you have Another kind a moisturizer. Of new um, it's for me. Same, it's the Rapid Wrinkle Repair mm -hmm. line. It says SPF 30, and this is just the moisturizer. And step. I like the 30, particularly as you get into the summer and, the, and spring and you're right. outside more. Um, I just feel like it really does keep everything else you've done, it, it keeps it good. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't get worse. You don't get more sunspots. You don't make them stand out more. I can use it several different ways. I could put that on next, mm -hmm. and then I could put on... If I did it that way, I would go ahead and put on this Rimmel uh, um, lasting finish. Uh, lasting finish. I will put that on over it, and that's for a full deal. That's what I would do for full coverage. You're going to let the moisturizer go ahead and sink in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Use this separate, or yes. you combine the two. Now I was just going through a normal day. What I would do is mix those two, mm -hmm. or I would use the BB cream, mm -hmm. and. Um, it, it just gives you one less layer, um, and it really does enough. It's okay. You know, yeah. it may not cover it quite as much, but I don't feel like I need a ton of coverage right now, to mm -hmm. just say the, you know, the truth. I don't feel like I'm covering up a lot. I'm trying to moisturize the skin. I'm trying mm -hmm. to keep the skin going. Right. We're trying to get the skin in the yeah. best condition it can be, and I mean, that should be everyone's goal yeah. so that the makeup can be So you're not covering less. continually. Uh, but yeah. I like the concept of, you know, if you're mm -hmm. going to add some moisturizer to a foundation, mm -hmm. you're going to be taking, you know, making it a little bit lighter weight, a little, you're going to dilute the coverage somewhat, and so that's a good option. And really, all these BB creams, tinted moisturizers, everything like that is essentially, you know, it's it's a foundation type product that has got some you know mm -hmm. extra hydration in it, and so you can create your own by taking a foundation well, you like and a moisture. This is just something um, I've tried a lot of BB creams from the drugstore. I have not been pleased with a lot of them. I did a four in one kind of review thing, but most recently I've tried the BB cream from Rimmel. I thought this was the one with the best coverage. It does have a little bit of moisture to it as well. I just, this was the one that I felt like was doing the most. So I said, mom, mm -hmm. why don't you try this and see what you think of it? And I mean, as far I as you're concerned. It came off, I think, just color wise. We did pick the lightest, mm -hmm. which I thought I wanted. It's light. This is a little darker, even though when I mix my mix mine with moisturizer, I'll take like one dot mm -hmm. of the Rimmel and maybe two dots of the moisturizer and just mix those in my hand okay. and go with it. Uh, I liked it okay, but I didn't think it did quite as much as I maybe wanted it to. So that's your daytime skincare routine from there, from your foundation. Mm -hmm. You can go on with um, makeup products, powder, I'll blush. Use, I'll usually go things. with concealer right mm -hmm. after that. While that's still a little bit moist, mm -hmm. I think that, that goes on a whole lot better. And then I'll go on and do whatever else I want yeah. to. So fast forward through the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's nighttime now. You're going to wash your face again. And a lot of this routine you've said is the same. She mm -hmm. goes with the Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. She goes with the Rapid Wrinkle... Yeah, the mailman's here. <laughs> <laughs> rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum. Uh, do you do the dark spot again? Yeah. Before bed? And then, we're not going to mess with foundations anymore, but you have... So it's all the same except the moisturizer changes for night. Mm -hmm. And she has Rapid Tone Repair Moisturizer. It says nighttime, so no SPF in this one. But this... The Rapid Tone Repair line is more about evening out skin tones. Mm -hmm. so another kind of yeah. way to help I with dark spots. I could use that, too. I just all over would help, I thought. So. You've been using that for so some time? I've been time. using that for a while. And is that working? I like well? that too. Overall, you've got a skincare routine that's geared toward anti-aging. Um, it's geared toward decreasing the fine lines and wrinkles. A lot of it is Neutrogena, Rapid Wrinkle Repair, Rapid Tone Repair. And you're you're pretty satisfied mm -hmm. with the way this has been going, right? Yes, I, I've been looking for quite a while to just kind of up the thing from what I was using, which was mm -hmm. none of this type of thing. To tell you the truth, every time I go into the store to mm -hmm. look for one of these, they're sold. Something is sold out. Something sold out. From and uh, so I'm thinking it's becoming <laughs> quite popular. Yeah. And uh, so it's hard to find everything you want at one time. So when I go in there, if I think I may be needing this, I'll get it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll just have it on hand. And it, it does, these aren't overly expensive, but if you're paying $20 every time, you know, you mm -hmm. go in for something, 
I think it's nice to just spread that out. So every time I go, I'll just pick the thing I'm lowest. Instead on. of buying the entire set <laughs> yeah, I don't and buy that worrying entire. about running out of right. something. And so I'll just buy the one thing, and then next time I'll buy maybe another one, and mm -hmm. I keep that always there. So when you run out of things, you can get in trouble. You yeah. Know? And maybe then you go for a week and you didn't have that. Yeah. Right. So right. I'm trying to really stay with it so I can know for sure if that's what I want to keep doing. And for now, that is what I want to keep mm -hmm. doing. So... Great. If you're interested in some makeup product recommendations, some different things, I'll link below to all the different videos Mom and I have done together because we've got some like key products which she's reviewed, favorite products, that sort of thing. So um, thank you so much for watching. Mom, thank you for sharing. Well, thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.